Good morning, peoples. Here from Poland. Where were we again? Nowogor. Nowro, Nowogrod. Good morning. Dzień dobry. Coffee, tea, da, da, tak, tak. Yes. These are our wonderful hosts. Okay. Yeah. Getting ready. We're going to. I was going to say the name. Dziabiała. Biała wieża. Yeah. Yeah, hey? yeah tak, tak. So my perfect pronunciation for some reason was wrong. Wrong. <laughs> so there you go. That's east, close to the Belarusian uh, border. And there is uh, one of the oldest or OG forests in uh, in uh, Europe. Ona? 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 <laughs> yeah? And it's uh, made with the, with the hands. And these also? Yeah? Tak. Ah, all homemade. Very nice. Artista here, no? Da. Tak. She makes her own uh, flower pots. It's uh, kawa time. Don Pedro, pije kawa. Imleko. There we go. Still got to get a shake in this, this morning. Didn't have one last night. After brutal workout. In the morning, I feel it today, like a mofo, quads, hamstring. But the lady helped me out. She uh, sorted me out with a jar and tried to explain. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Here we go. Here, protein, bianco. Creatine and creatine and protein. Oh, see, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a Soviet one. Wow. Hey. Hey. Wow, this is uh, this is heavy. At least now I'm protected. My head's protected while I'm working. While I'm protecting the gains. Oh. But uh, it's feel uh, real, huh? It's heavy. The the hussars. Polski hussars. Hussaria. Ottoman. Where is the Ottoman? Ottoman. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I spy dry fear. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four thousand Polish soldiers. So you can see Vivat Hussaria. And then the winged this hussars that now. saved Europe from the Ottomans when they were in Vienna. Ottoman in Vienna. <laughs> Polish army gift to the Prime oh. Minister. <laughs> Very nice. Heavy, eh? <laughs> I swear. Now I am the Polish, the ultimate Polish fighter in I right now. Soviet Union. Dziękuję. For the capital gift. The winged hussars. Really dope, right? That is the great story, the strong story of Poland, is the hussars. <laughs> All right, ready to go to the forest. Forest time. <laughs> Jenki, choose. <laughs> hey, let's -a go. Do a little fuel up. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hanging in there. Got some of this semi-synthetic oil, but I don't even need to measure Atlas uh, because it's done about 1,500 kilometers now. There you go. Atlas is one hell of an oil eater. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and the last time it happened was in Andorra. I figured based on how it was last time, the filter could use a clean. Because the bullet, you get free air again. All right, filter's back in. Yeah, these need a, a rinse every now and then. Oiled up, air filtered up, fueled up. Anjovka, Anjovka. 
right on the edge of that national park, of that forest. But we got a place for a few nights. All right, here's some trees already. I promise it's gonna be heaps more. Pedro. Vitoli. Vitoli. Oh, you have a Polish, no, Deutsch, ambition. Deutsch. Yeah, ambition. Apartment block, older apartment block this time. Ah, fuck. Very nice. Old school on the outside, new school on the inside. Ah, good? It's good. Yeah. Thank you. Good day. Good start. No, that was easy. Living in a, in a Polish block this time. <laughs> this is for real. Mm, it's not really good for my circadian rhythm, mm. but alright. <laughs> it works in the door. Home sweet home. Is this the balcony? This is the balcony. Oh, okay. And kitchen. It's got everything locked. Hey, what's and going on? Is this kind of, kind of special thing here? This is the secret door. Uh oh. You want to know that, right? You can't open it. <laughs> What's going on in there? It's probably the man. Man. Oh, man. man waiting in there till we go to sleep. So, this one comes to down to about. 37 euros a night. As you can see, we are now at Bio Wiesia, heading out there. That's the name of this national park. Deeper into the dense forest. The first forest obstacle. I would have still be able, would have been able to cross this with Atlas. Are you basking in the light? With lots of muzzy. <laughs> oh, oh, you got this massive bump on your head. Hey? Holy shit. Oh, you're gonna get a bubble head. Good eye. Oh. Put your hoodie back on. Blissful forest. Perfectly at peace in his zone and in his lane. Ah, that was nice. Biaoyuiza. Primeval forest. Here we are with the European bison. We're now going to the town itself. Go for a little walk. Now we are in Bio Zawazia. I can't pronounce it. I mean, it's perfect pronunciation. There's these old wooden houses everywhere here. Reminds me a little bit of uh, wooden houses in uh, East Russia and uh, before entering Mongolia. Look at these wooden houses. Tope. to hit some of the back roads here. Wow, this reminds me so much of Northeast Kazakhstan and Russia. Love to go back. Right about now, we're about two and a half kilometers from the Belarusian border. Very muddy from the day's rain. With rock hard tires. Ah, remember the dirt, folks. Faint memories. So here, this is the edge of Europe, of Eastern Europe. And to go, keep going through here, you would need sort of visa with Belarus. You can't do any, uh, any visa-less travel anymore from here, because this is uh, where uh, Schengen ends, the eternal borders of Europe. Republika Polska. 
You see the two military people standing there. Oh, I miss going to the other side. No visa on arrival in Belarus. I wonder if you actually can cross the border here. For I understand Belarus has strict uh, border crossing locations, so you can only cross the border at certain locations. So apparently this national park used to be a Tsarist hunting retreat. The palace burned down or was destroyed. Seems to be a lot of military activity going on. Convoys and whatnot. Going in and out. Looks like even an uh, operations uh, unit. And again, we are close to the Belarusian border here. So I think this is the old, old Tsar entry. Palace entry. You can see the makeshift tents inside. Yeah, so all the military vans here. What do you reckon this is? Anastasia's playroom. I find it interesting to come across this uh, place because of course you see Tsar you think wait a sec what does that have to do with Poland but it mostly has to do with Russia and more specifically the old Russian Empire the one that lasted until uh, early 20th uh, century. It was massive. Reached all the way to Alaska where Europe went colonizing all of Africa all of Asia all of South America and North America away from their territories Russia went colonizing East all these territories in the past that used to belong to Khanates you know Genghis Khan even parts of China for a while all the way into North America unbelievable they had the ease to colonize eastward, but westward. They increasingly bordered Europe. And then all the way until this region here in Poland. All of Belarus, all of the Baltics, even Finland. But it was massive, only surpassed by the British Empire. I'm not sure, maybe the Mongol was bigger in the end. Different kind of empire. But those were the only two bigger empires. And the British, of course, also had a very, very, very big hand in world affairs, you know? Let's say how people react to the United States nowadays, they would react to the United Kingdom. But it's a fascinating thing to consider all these old land borders. And I say old, relatively not even until that long ago. Give it 100 years, 150 years. And of course, as I mentioned before, this was during a time when Poland didn't exist anymore. Because it had been partitioned up to three times going to the German Empire. And I think, yeah, parts to Russia and maybe even Austro-Hungarian, but I might be wrong there. It was a crazy time back then when massive powers with massive future industrial potential were vying for the future of Europe and therefore later the world. So got this wooden house here from that time. It's where uh, the Tsar uh, used to keep uh, his dustbins and brooms. <laughs> no, 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 not things you want to keep in a palace. Really takes me back to Eurasia, these wooden houses. Hello, Nikolai, N op open up, don't worry, no, no, it's not, it's not Cheka, don't worry, it's okay, I'm not Soviet. <laughs> and with that peak humor, folks, we conclude our arrival in Biaoyeza. Let me know how to actually pronounce that. Take it easy, and uh, I'll see you while uh, I'm just gonna chill here uh, on my bison. Ciao folks. <laughs> Mine's called Joe Joe Bison. Joe.